coronavirus outbreak hitting cruise industry where it hurts most, new business. And Sage Beale had been pondering what to do for an upcoming birthday later this year, and the notion of taking a cruise for the first time appealed to her. Maybe something in Europe, Norway sounded enticing. But then she started hearing about the cruise ship from hell, the Diamond Princess, which was quarantined off the coast of Japan with thousands aboard February 5th. As of early Tuesday, authorities said 542 of the 2,404 passengers and crew whose test results were known had been infected, more than 1,000 additional people were still awaiting their results. 44 Americans on board have tested positive for the new coronavirus, according to U.S. health officials. I don't want to be involved in a worst-case scenario, said Sage Beal, a nature photographer in Colorado. Cruises are off the table until they figure this out. That sentiment is bad news for the growing cruise industry, which has taken a multi-million dollar financial hit as the situation unfolds. Bookings are down, according to some major players, and the non-stop attention has been damaging. We're always covering these things in terms of the ability to move ships out of harm's way, said Mike Driscoll, editor-in-chief of the trade publication Cruise Week. The industry is known for its resiliency, etc., etc. but this one's just so different. Four days before the Diamond Princess quarantine was set to end February 19, U.S. officials said they would evacuate American citizens from the ship, as long as they showed no symptoms, and fly them to the United States, where they would be placed into another 14-day quarantine. The Diamond Princess is the only cruise ship where the new coronavirus was believed to have been spreading, but it was not the only one affected by the outbreak, which has sickened more than 75,000 people and killed 2,000 more. Another ship, the World Dream, with more than 3,800 people aboard, was stuck in quarantine in Hong Kong for four days after authorities learned that passengers on a previous cruise had tested positive for the virus. Everyone was allowed to disembark after crew members tested negative and passengers passed health screenings. No one on Holland America Line's Westerdam was known to be ill during a voyage that started in Hong Kong but that ship and the more than 2,200 people on board spent days at sea when port after port denied permission to dock. Cambodia came through, and passengers began to disembark Friday. But that decision was called into question the next day when officials announced that one woman who was on the ship tested positive in Malaysia after flying there from Cambodia. Since then, Malaysia, Thailand and Singapore have said they will not allow passengers from the ship to travel through their airports, according to Bloomberg News. Several other ships for more on this story, visit the news article link.